Let me give you a quick overview of the plugin and then I'll show you how you can create a simple virtual tour real quick. Afterwards, in the following videos, I'll show you how you can use several features to make the tour even better. So let's get started. Once you have installed and activated the plugin, on your dashboard, you'll see you have a menu called WPVR. Once you click on it, it will take you to the plugin dashboard. Here you can see there are several tabs. Initially, you'll be on the info tab where you'll find links to the documentations, links to our support forum, or you can check out a couple of plugins that we created. Next, uh, there is the video tutorials tab where you'll find videos to help you out to learn the plugin. Next is the import tab. This is where you can import an external virtual tool created using WPVR. For example, let's say you have a second website where you created an amazing virtual tour and you want to uh, use that virtual tour on this website as well. So what you can do is you can export that virtual tour from that website using WPVR and then import that tour here using this feature. Next is the settings tab. Uh, here you'll find a lot of general setup options for the plugin. For example, you can allow editors and authors to create, edit or update a tour. Uh, you can disable font or some icons from WPVR. Uh, you can disable default WordPress large image handler. Now this is important because when you uh, upload a large image to WordPress, it is automatically compressed. Uh, but if you disable the default large image handler uh, using WPVR, then you can upload large images without hampering the quality. Next is the option to enable script control. This allows you to make sure that WPVR scripts are loaded only on the pages that you allow. So what we advise is that any page where you embed a virtual tour, you include that link here uh, and then enable this option. That way WPVR scripts will only be loaded in that page or those pages. Now below you can see you have the option to roll back to an older version in case you're having an issue with the current version. Next uh, you can see there is the tours menu. Here you'll find all the virtual tours that you created using WPVR listed in one place. For each tour you'll find the tour title, the short code, the person who created it and the date it was published. Also, when you hover across one tour, you'll find the option to duplicate the tour. Uh, basically, let's say you have created a great tour and you want to make a copy of the tour and make little changes to it. So you can just click on this duplicate button and a copy of this tour will be created immediately and you'll be taken to the edit mode of that tour so that you can start editing right away. Now below you can see there's a menu called WPVR license. Basically when you upgrade to Pro with WPVR, uh, after you collect the license, this is where you need to go and input the license key and activate it so that you can start using the Pro features. Now let's move on to the all important add new tour. Once you click on it, it will take you to this page where you'll get all the features required to create your virtual tour. As you can see there are a lot of options here. Let me give you an overview of all the features you can get here. Uh, on the left you see there are several tabs. The Generals tab includes all the general features that will apply to the tour. For example, you can upload a preview image to display before the tour loads. Uh, you can apply a scene fade animation so that when moving from one scene to another there will be a faded effect. Uh, you can enable auto rotation. Uh, you also have more advanced controls where you can control what uh, visitors can do on your tour. For example, you can control if a person can navigate in the tour using the keyboard or you can control if a person can drag the tour using the mouse. Uh, you can enable or disable the gyroscope option. Plus you'll get more advanced features such as adding a scene gallery so that people can check out what scenes it has at a glance. Uh, you can include a tour background music so that the music uh, plays throughout the tour. Uh, you can also add company information including uh, your company logo. Uh, you can also add control buttons. Here you can uh, enable custom control buttons uh, using font or some icons to make the navigation buttons look more attractive. Now let's move on to the scenes tab. Now to create a virtual tour, it is mandatory to have at least one scene. Uh, but you can add multiple scenes by clicking the plus button here. Now what you have to do here is that you need to upload a 360 panoramic image by clicking on this button and assign a scene ID and set it as default. Uh, 
you need to have at least one scene in the tour and at least one of the scenes you have uh, needs to be set to default let's say you have three scenes you have to set any one of them as default all right uh, once you have done that you can click on preview to get a preview of the tour on the right side and you can see there are more features here to customize each and every scene you can add a title to the scene add an author and an author link uh, then you can see these are vertical angle of view horizontal angle of view to uh, edit a panoramic image so that uh, you can create a partial panoramic virtual tour uh, you can even set limitations to how far a person can navigate for example you can limit how much a person can go left or right how much a person can go up and down and you can also customize the amount a person can zoom in or zoom out next is the special feature the hotspot uh, this is what allows you to uh, place an icon in your scene uh, where a person can click to get information image or video or they can have a hotspot uh, as a scene type with which they can connect two scenes basically a person can move from one scene to another and you can also embed a 360 video tour using WPBR rather than creating a virtual tour and you can also embed a Google Street View tour using WPVR. So that's just the basic overview of the plugin. Now let me show you how you can create a simple virtual tour in a matter of minutes. To create a virtual tour there are very few things that are mandatory. The rest of the features are just optional to allow you to customize the tour. Uh, so all you need is to add a tour title, create one scene with a 360 panoramic image, assign it a scene ID and set it as default. Then click on preview to see the tour and then publish. That's it. The next thing you can do is embed it on a website. Let me just create a quick tour to show you how it works. First let me name it. Let's just name it demo. Uh, now uh, I'll move on to the scenes tab as I told you that all these features are not mandatory if I don't want to use them it's fine so next I can go to the scenes tab here let me upload a 360 panoramic image I'll, I already have one uploaded in my media library uh, you can pre-upload it or you can upload it right away it's fine uh, then I'll assign it a scene ID and I'll set it as default next I'll just scroll down and click on preview And you can see the image has been converted into a virtual tour. Now you can simply publish it. And once you do, you'll see the publish button change to update. Now this tour is ready to be embedded on a website. So as you can see, it has a short code. You can use this to uh, embed the tour on a classic editor or any page builder. Uh, but if you use Gutenberg, you can just use the Gutenberg block for WPVR. Uh, if you use Elementor page builder, then you can use the Elementor widget for WPVR. So let me just quickly show you by embedding this virtual tour on a page. So I'll just create a new page. Let me just give it a name as demo tour. And as you can see, I'll just easily select the WPVR block. I'll just search for WPVR and select the block. Now over here on the ID, I'll just select the tour I just created. Remember, I named it demo. So I'm selecting this. Now, if I click on preview, and there you go. The tour is embedded on this page, and I can navigate through this easily. Now, as you can see, this is the very basic version of a virtual tour without using any special features. I just created this, assigning it a title, adding a scene, and uploading a scene image. And assigning a scene title that's it then I just published the tour and embedded it on the website now in the upcoming videos I will uh, show you how you can use all those extra features in the plugin to make this tour even more attractive and meaningful until then take care